Yo, yo, what's good, everyone? Welcome to my channel. I am a sage who rises today. I will be doing the sun, moon rising of Scorpio. So let's get to it. So, angels, what's the tea for Scorpio at this time? What do they need to know? So we got the high priestess. So what you need to know is that you need to listen to your intuition at this time. Death card, ace of swords, ace of wands. So I'm definitely saying that you need to listen to your intuition about ending a cycle, letting go of something. Okay, because you have a new beginning coming in. Okay, I'm saying that there is some type of breakthrough. This could be success. This could be some type of truth or new ideas coming in. And I'm saying with the Ace of Wands, you're going to have to act on it. Okay. Yeah, with the Three of Cups, I'm saying that this is a time where you're celebrating. Don't necessarily have to be you celebrating. I'm also seeing that you could have got some type of victory and success here in the public. So this could be pertaining to your job. This could be pertaining to family. But I'm definitely seeing that you're going to be being celebrated here. I'm also seeing with the Six of Wands. You could be a leader. You could be somebody that people, you know, follow. And you need to be humble. And it's because people is going to question you. And, you know, we don't need the cockiness, okay? It's just be, you know, be yourself is what I'm hearing. Because you are definitely a trendsetter here. And you got people following you. And it's got people, you know, wanting to question you and shit. Yeah, with the Ace of Cups. Yeah, you're being told to listen to your intuition. Ace of Cups, this is further intuition. I'm saying that you could be having an emotional awakening. Okay, I'm saying that um, you could have, yeah. I'm also hearing this could have been an emotional awakening. I'm saying that, yeah. It's giving like feeling. It's like more of like, you know how, what is it, Claire said? It's like you you feel, but it's like a it's like intuitive. Yeah, with the five of pentacles in reverse, and this could be creating some type of positive change in your life. You're recovering at this time. You could be paying your debts off. But I'm definitely seeing with the ace of cups. It's so crazy because when I see this ace of cups, it reminds me of like the Bible, like the chalice, you know, the holy grail. Yeah, exactly. Like when I was saying earlier, like be humble, you know, because you got people that's following you and don't take the humble like, oh, be humble. You, you cocky. No, what I mean with that is no, you really are a leader and you operating in this Ace of Cups energy, loving energy is really going to create something that's going to bring a positive change for you. Like, that's really what I'm saying. But the Five of Pentacles in reverse, Knight of Pentacles, it's like you didn't give up on something. It's like you were slow and steady with it. And it's giving you, listen to your intuition. This can also be a love offer, you know. But this is really giving a holy grail here. Like, you know, my cup, my cup run over type, you know. Why is the death card here? Yeah, Queen of Cups. I'm definitely saying that you could be letting go. And in a cycle. And this is giving like... Coming from... Like a different part of your life. It's like... With this death being here, it's already letting me know that you went through a transformation. That you had to transmute some type of energy. But it's like... It's, yeah, with the Hermit. It's like you did something in secret. You did either, if it wasn't contemplation, it's like you just went into solitude. You went in isolation. And in isolation, this is where you transformed into this caring, emotional, mature, empathetic, loving, you know, women. Like I said, look, come on now. The Ace of Cups is here. The, the Ace of Cups is here. The Heart of Cups is the Ace of Cups. You have the cup that the divine gave you. And you're needing to listen to your intuition when it comes to it. I'm also hearing use this, use this, use the love that the, the divine have for you to transmute that pain. The divine love you. 
And I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, God know me. Fuck them people. Fuck anybody that left you. You don't need nobody. Actually, you don't. <laughs> you, you don't. I see you by yourself. This is only one person here, one person here, one person here. It's like literally. <laughs> Seriously though. It's like with the hermit being at the bottom of this death queen of cups. It's like you did this in hermit. You did this in isolation. So exactly. <laughs> you did this in isolation. You did this alone. Knight of Wands. And, and this could have been. <sighs> with that I seen the Knight of Wands. But it's like I got the hermit three of swords. So it's like. You could have felt very confident and passionate about something one point in time. You could, oh no. The, the Knight of Wands talks about if you are masculine energy, you could have been somebody who was, you know, a player, you know, um, not ready to settle down. But it's like now you're more caring, loving, empathetic, and emotionally mature now. Yes. And it's like you had to go through this alone, which was which was your heartbreak. So you could have been heartbroken that you had to go through this alone. But it's okay. Cause look at you now. Death Queen of Cups. It's like you ended a cycle of, you know, feeling like you had to isolate yourself because you was heartbroken or feeling like you had to search for the truth. You know, feeling like you had to, you know, dig deeper. Like why am I hurt when in actuality it's just you just had to take some time to go within. And that's when you was gonna find where this heartbreak came from. And you did it, even though it was heartbreaking. To do it in secret or do it by yourself. But look at you now. You're more caring, emotionally mature, empathetic, and loving. And with this Ace of Swords being here, you're having a breakthrough. It's, it's coming off like success. Or this can be truth. You know? This can be the truth. Yeah, with the scrum card, I'm saying that you didn't know how strong you was until you was tested. And now you're seeing your inner strength. You're seeing how brave you are, how compassionate and focused you are. Knight of Pentacles. Because you literally had to take your time with something. You know, the Knight of Pentacles is Virgo energy as well. So, so much as the Hermit is. And it's given like you had to really be patient and conservative when it came to something. Yeah, with the Four of Swords, I'm saying that you, you could have been taking your time because you had to rest. You had to heal. That's what I'm, I'm strongly giving, like, you already had truth and clarity, but you had to, you know, muster up the inner strength. And this took you some time. And it's because you had to heal. But with this six of wands, I'm saying that you're coming out the victor. You're having some type of victory and success, some type of celebration going on. And like I said from the beginning with the six of wands, you are somebody that could be a leader. You know, people follow you. And if that's not happening, it is. But the five of pentacles, I'm saying that you're going to be paying your debt. You're going to be recovering. And this is going to bring you some type of relief. Yeah, ace of pentacles. This could be a business opportunity. But I definitely, oh, with the five of pentacles in reverse and the ace of pentacles, you got money coming in. Stability coming in. Temperance. I'm saying that only thing you have to do is find the patience, the meaning of the situation, and balance out, ground yourself. Yeah. With the judgment being in the bottom of that and the page of wands, this is definitely giving you answer the call. And you got good news coming in. Yeah. You could be reflecting. But I definitely feel as though you are aware and awakened. And this is allowing you to be confident on your new journey. Yes, you're coming off in this fearless energy, very enthusiastic. Yeah, but with the two of swords, it's like you got somebody else on the, on the outside, you know, trying to look in. This is somebody who feels as though they stuck in the middle. This is somebody who wanted you to be blinded to the truth. Two of cups, possibly about who your partner was. At the end of the day, it is what it is. It's like I'm also saying that 
You are awakened to a source to the fact that you're going to have to make a tough decision. I also feel like you've awakened to the fact that you have to have a stalemate with someone. Two of Cups. Somebody who could have been a partner. But I really feel as though somebody is under judgment for trying to blind you the truth about who your soulmate was. I really feel like that's what it is. You know, <laughs> with the Knight of Wands, this could have been a Sagittarius, Ten of Swords, Gemini, Nine of Wands. Somebody did not want to give up with trying to betray you. They wanted you to be utterly defeated. They wanted to break you down. They wanted you to hit rock bottom. <laughs> and they was confident about it. Them and they love her. And now they're in this two of swords energy. <laughs> stuck in the middle. And under judgment. Like I said for you, something is being balanced out for you. Eight of wands. I'm saying that you're having a brand new passionate new beginning. And you're very enthusiastic about it. Like I said, you got a creative spark. Yeah, with the full card. You have a new beginning here. Five of cups. And this is causing somebody else disappointments. Because they're focused on failure and sadness. This king of pentacles. So this could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, three of cups, third party. So this king of pentacles could be your father. This could be your child's father. The king of pentacles, to me, um, it could be... To be honest, it's, it's looking like a man. This look like somebody was focused on... This really looked like a king of pentacles. This is somebody who was focused on disappointments. Uh-huh. Mm -mm. Yep, they focus on failures. This is a third party. Five of Wands who's wanting to come to a resolution now. Emperor. So this is... So, somebody's in hell of regret. Whoever this Taurus, Vigor, Capricorn, third party is, they want to come to a resolution, Emperor. When it comes, yeah, because you got, you, you, you have control over a situation. You have control over a situation so much that it could be, I really feel as though somebody's obsessed with your masculine pool. With the, with the devil and the emperor, see, I won't going to say that. But when I seen this two of pentacles and that five of cups. And then king of pentacles, three of cups. This is a third party. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. That's focused on failures and in hella regret. Because I guess they wanted some type of domination over your masculine. This is somebody who wanted control over your partnership. But mostly your masculine. And now they're in regret. Whatever this King of Pentacles, Five of Wands in reverse, because this person they want to come to a resolution. But with the Two of Pentacles, this could have been somebody who caused some type of imbalance, and it's like you had to find balance. Yeah, Two of Cups. Yeah, this is somebody who tried to cause some type of stalemate to your partnership. See, Two, 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 Two. two talk about new beginnings. Mm -hmm. Did I tell you how many times I told you, you got a new beginning, a passionate new beginning, a new beginning, <laughs> Death card, a new beginning. <laughs> Yes, High Priestess, Ace of Cups, that's also a brand new beginning in love. Two of Cups, Two of Pentacles, you was able to adapt to a situation. You was able to find balance in the situation. You was able to prioritize yourself in the situation. And now this love is yours. <laughs> two of Swords, somebody wanted you to be in a stalemate. Judgment, now their ass is under judgment. Hangman for trying to sacrifice you. Whoever this King of Wands is. So... With the hangman judgment, I mean, the hangman judgment and the two of swords, this talks about somebody who tries to sabotage you. And now they're under judgment and feel as though they're stuck in the middle. Whoever this king of wands is, this could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag, page of swords that's fine on you. Five of swords, this is somebody that you already defeated. Okay? Yeah, they got some resentment with you and they want to break you down. <laughs> and they don't want to give up with the nine of wands, ten of pentacles. There's also a family tower that's about to receive a backfire <laughs> three of wands and this is to come the three of wands is three days something could have been going on for 10 years with a family yeah we get yeah something been going on with a family for 10 years and something is now about to backfire three of wands in three days three of pentacles when it comes to this group who've been doing work on you for three years will of fortune and this is because of your destiny four of pentacles on why somebody try to hold you back Another year with the Four of Pentacles. <laughs> but with the Sun card, they're being exposed. Whoever this Taurus, Leo, Capricorn, Rule of Fortune is um, Sagittarius, right? 
Yep, Sagittarius, Capricorn energy. These are people that's at a distance from you. With the Ten of Pentacles, this could be a family with the Tower that's about to receive a backfire. Okay, with the Hierophant, this is just it's definitely a Taurus energy, Two of Wands, Aries energy, energy, Four of Cups who missed the opportunity. This Empress could be this Taurus, this Aries, or Cancer. They missed the opportunity when they tried to play God. This is somebody who wanted you to conform to them. This is why they chose this path. Yeah, but they missed that opportunity. And it's because you are the empress. You are a mother first. <laughs> You're very nurturing, creative, and abundant. And if you are a masculine, um, you're very nurturing, abundant, and compassionate. But this was hidden from people. <laughs> yeah, that, you know, whatever heartbreak, trauma, disappointment, depression they put on you, whatever selfish wish that they did out of, I guess, See, because the Nine of Cups is, you know, somebody selfishly making wishes. The Nine of Cups is also praying to a gin. Okay? Yes. Nine of Cups is praying to a gin. Knight of Swords. Somebody wishes was to attack you. Nine of Cups, Knight of Swords, Three of Swords. Somebody wanted to break your heart so bad, it was their wish, Knight of Swords, to attack you. Queen of Swords, because you, tur you turned your back on them. You set some type of boundaries with them. Knight of Wands. So they took this impulsive ass action. Nine of Swords. Now they going through sleep this nice and anxiety because they're realizing that you have a contract and that you are official page of pentacles this is why this childish ass towards rigor capricorn even came up with this plan but with this king of swords i'm saying that you made a head over heart decision lovers when it came to like a decision you was making knight of cups yeah you could have had a gemini pisces trying to come towards you with this fake ass love six of swords because you've already moved on justice and you're getting karmic justice Seven of Wands for somebody trying to block you. Nine of Pentacles from you living luxury, profiting, having success, and having a home. With the World card, that shit is coming to an end. Six of Pentacles, you will be receiving what you deserve. Four of Wands, stability, a twin flame, G generosity, charity, employment, community. You deserve to be celebrated. A marriage, coming home, belonging. Queen of Wands, and it's because you are independent. I'm saying that you're also funny, confident, beautiful. And very magical. You are, it's, it's like you, you give this willpower that it's like very exuding. It's like confidence, you know, ten of wands. And this, yo, you had somebody trying to keep up with you, Pooh. They tried to keep up with you, Pooh. That shit was too hard to do. And it's because you are a star seed. That's why. Seven of Swords or somebody was out here trying to scam you, trying to steal from you, trying to cheat on you. Whoever this Virgo is. So somebody tried to like cheat and scam you. A Virgo? Seven of Cups? This is a stupid bitch who was in a fantasy the whole time. Now they looking stupid. It's like they must have laced their own weed or something. You see? Like, yeah, somebody looks stupid. Eight of Wands. 